Danushka Wick Ramasinga is grief-stricken. One after another, his wife, four children and a family friend mourned at a funeral. The six were killed in a brutal attack inside the family's home, Ottawa's deadliest mass killing. In the days since March 6, we have experienced an overwhelming grief. Just released from the hospital, his own injuries from that night still visible. Not ready to speak publicly, but saying in a statement, I am devastated and torn by the loss of my beloved wife, Darishini, and my beautiful angels, Anuka, Ranaya, Ashvini, and Kelly, and my dear friend, Gamini. The close-knit Sri Lankan community rallied around him as he said his final goodbye. I'm standing right in front of the, the hearses here, and it made it very, very real. It's so sad. The senseless violence has left residents of this suburb traumatized. I can't believe something like this can ever happen to anyone, especially to four kids. And like a whole family ripped apart, another family ripped apart. Deep breath in, release the breath and relax. Buddhist monks consoled the 300 mourners who packed into a conference center for the ceremony. Gamini Amarakun recently moved to Canada. A heartbreaking tribute from his 11-year-old daughter as Sherry was played. And just look over us and take care of us. And we're sorry that we weren't there when you needed it. A child should not have to go through that kind of a, a situation, a trauma, especially something like this. The alleged suspect, 19-year-old Febrio de Zoiza, is behind bars, facing six first-degree murder charges. Police haven't described a motive, offering only condolences. We share their grief, and you can, you can see that they're hurting, and they're going to be hurting for a while. For now, they can only offer promises of justice for heartbroken families here and in Sri Lanka. J.P. Tasker, CBC News, Ottawa.